Okay, this time... No, I'm gonna let them kill him. Oh, there are a bunch. There are a bunch. Ah ha! Oh, that was, there was no way I could have gotten out of that. There was literally no way I could have gotten out of that. Ugh. Sub level four, that's a new hazard. What is that? Oh, it's burgeoning spider wart, I think. I don't know what that is. Also, guys, really, what is that? Poison gas? What is- Whoa! 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 Hold the phone! Poison bulb orbs? Zombie bulb orbs? That is a- Actually kind of, kind of sick, to be honest. <laughs> I like that idea. It, it shakes up the- Hey, do not throw Pikmin on top of this. That is actually a bad thing to do now. Okay, they're gonna deal with that. We're going to get Ochi ready. Kill that. Oh, he stopped. You, you kill that. I have so many scrummy bones. It's totally fine. I also only... I, I've lost eight Pikmin? So I think I'm fine. I'm largely fine. You deal with that, Ochi. We're gonna go that way. We're just gonna kind of clear the immediate area. Ooh, good job. A new track. Wow! Wow, okay. Uh, we're gonna name this one. Oh, it's a poison one. Oh, it's just a poison one. Why isn't it purple? Is this the prelude to a new Pikmin type? Because this is not poison. It's different. Because normally poison's purple. I wonder if... Uh-oh. I hate that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a... There is a, um... A dweevil with a bomb rock on him. Literally a suicide bomber. That's good to know. I mean, that's very from near and dear to Pikmin. Uh, in Pikmin 2, th that existed. Okay, you deal with that. You should be able to get both of them. Yeah, nice job. Go on, Ochi. Come on. Come on. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. But the sooner you, you stand your ground, the sooner you don't have to deal with that anymore. You guys, get on that. That's the cave entrance. It, I'm guessing that it's spider wart. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. There's some plastic there. I don't really need it. I actually think I might avoid the plastic. I know that sounds crazy. Eh. Nah. <laughs> we won't. We won't ignore the plastic. We'll get it. It's dumb, but we're gonna get it. Okay. And then Ochi, I'm commanding you to. Ah, you know what? You stay with me right now. We're going to use the idle, the idle mechanic, the the idle whistle, and bring them back. Because I can't leave them at base. If I do, they will just die. They'll they'll die to the water rate. What is? Oh, I thought that was a a golden egg, but it's it's a fruit. It's a just a fruit. We're fine. Whoa! Whoa! Don't scare me like that, dude. It's just a. a Poison chrysanthemum. This is a lot of death that is happening here. We're going to deal with one thing at a time. Die, please. And hopefully these pools disappear. They do. Okay. I'm using a lot of ultra spicy spray here. Deal with that. Sure, you can deal with all those things. I still have 29. Where is Ochi? Oh. Uh, Ochi, get... Come here. That's scary. Goodbye. Oh! We're fine. We're okay. It also feels... I don't know if just... There's more to do, but it almost feels like the timer is getting shorter for the water rate's appearance. Oh, it's a D4. That rolled a one. That's... Foreboding. There's a little lip there, so I'm just gonna go through here. It's hard to see! Please. Whoa! Whoa. Thank you! Thank you, come again! Come on. 
Come on. Come on, come on. Get over it, get over it, get over it. Uh, Ochi, deal with that. Oh, that hurts you too. Okay. Uh, we're, s we're missing treasure. That way. This is getting tight. Oh, it's just the default. Okay, you guys carry that. Go a little bit faster. I actually really... One of the, the, the design decisions... I have... Let's actually talk about something to distract me. Um, one of the design decisions I, I really appreciate about this game is what they're doing with um, deflowering Pikmin. Uh, the fact that it's now used as like a soft consequence is great to me. Conditions that Pikmin aren't immune to, deflower them if they're hit with them. And that's, that's nice. It's a way to... Man, you're persistent. You're just right on our heels. Right as we finish a floor, you show up. Also, not gonna lie, I think you look... You're right next to Ochi. Okay, you're fine. Is that it? Is that it? I think it is. It is. With him quite... You know what? That's a thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail. Stop talking. That's a great thumbnail. We're just gonna run from him the, the real way. Okay, we have all of our Pikmin. 58 to 58, we're, we're fine. He's not turning around, I presume he's right on our heels. Yep, he is, he's not that fast. He's a persistent threat. He's not, he's not necessarily a lethal one. He's there, he's like the, he's like the snail that, that will kill you the moment it touches you, but it's a snail. So you're running from a small, a slow thing your entire life. You can't kill the snail. It's immortal. But if he catches you, you're dead. So you're always looking over your shoulder. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's going after Louie, going after Louie. Hide in this corner. Oh. Don't crush me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! Oh, we lost three. That could have been a lot worse. We could, it could have been a lot worse. The final floor. We're going to see how they, they let us kill him. Maybe we can't. Or, maybe, we get a new Pikmin type. Please give a round of applause to... As I have to re-plug in my headphones. Purple Pikmin! <laughs> the best Pikmin type of pi Oh, these Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let me check the voyage log. There may be a relevant entry. The Purple Pikmin. One purple Pikmin has the strength and weight of 10 regular Pikmin. What they lack in speed, they make up for in force. When thrown, their impact is powerful enough to emit gravitational waves. They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. They're 10 times stronger than other Pikmin. How can they possess so much power? Well, it sounds like we can rely on them for some heavy lifting. The best Pikmin type of Pikmin 2. And formerly the record holder for the best Pikmin type, period. In my humble and veteran opinion. Oh, I should have used Glow Pikmin for that. In fact, do I supplement my numbers with Glow? I think I do. I think I... I think I do. Uh, they... In Pikmin 2, at least... I'm gonna throw a couple here. That's good enough. In Pikmin 2, these guys could fight three times better than the, the normal Pikmin, which meant they were twice as good as Reds. They could carry ten, uh, ten Pikmin's worth of carry weight. They were very slow, but a, a death squad of them, they could also stun. They had a homing attack on their ground pound, which looks like it might be gone from... Just the look at of how this works. But the stun is pro looks like it st is still there. They're truly a force to be reckoned with. Some of the best fighters with, albeit, no elemental weaknesses. 
and also they're very slow, even when flowered. These guys have some downsides to them. They're also the rarest type, only being able to be harvested underground, period. Unlike, unlike pinks, they have serious downsides to outweigh, outweigh their benefits, but they're extremely fun to play with. Here we go. And actually, before I, before I do this, since I entered this cave, I don't, or this floor, I don't know if I messed with my headphone or not. There we go. It, it almost sounded like I was in a gym and there was a strange echo to everything, but there we go. I can hear now. Does this egg contain the water wraith? No, it doesn't. It contains nothing. Or whatever contained is now dead. We have to be careful. If I don't do this right, my purple, or I will not be able to beat this cave. We're gonna jump on Ochi to, ma to make our squad more manageable. I don't think he can leave this arena. All it will take is one purple Pikmin thrown at him. I can't lock onto him, interestingly. I just have to be accurate. Which I will be now. There he goes. Go. Switch over to purples because I think they can fight better. Keep debuffing him. But this is merely phase one. With his rollers gone, he's as pitiful of, as we've been throughout this entire dungeon. He knocks us aside. I don't think he can even summon his rollers anymore. Although, maybe they gave him that ability. He's just gonna go on a stroll. And, y'all have to pardon me, this is my first playthrough of this game. I'm gonna let him do his thing for a little bit. I know how he behaves in Pikmin, in Pikmin 2, but this is new. This is a new game. We have already seen a new attack from the Withering Blowhog. And I wouldn't be surprised if he could summon his rollers again or do something, I don't know. Let him hit me real quick. He doesn't feel any damage. Looks like that's about all he has to him. I'd say he was a, he, a little bit less powerful than he was in, in Pikmin 2, but no less threatening. And the fact that he, it looks like they do more damage actually. The fact that he, uh, <clears throat> he showed up on like three floors, I think is a testament to his threat level. I don't think I tarried much, but I also was able to redeem myself for my performance in Pikmin 2. And I think I can kill him with my conscience, conscience intact. I have a couple more fun facts about him. What game did he drop? GameCube game, obviously, but I can't tell what it is. I have a couple more facts about him, which, of course, I shared. Oh, he, the, he's dragging the disc uh, shiny side down all. <laughs> that, uh, that's not playable anymore. In Pikmin 2, there were uh, 13 treasures in the submerged castle, which, of course, is an unlucky number. If you tried to enter the cave, I, this fact, I think I've been fact-checked on it, so it might be slightly different, but uh, I believe the game would tell you that you can't do that if you tried to enter with anything besides blues. Let's see what this ID tells us. Asa, from the planet of Sigure, an archaeologist tracking the path of civilization to cross the universe. He hopes his discoveries will shock the world of academia. <laughs> A ruin excavation specialist. He probably came to this planet to do research. Excellent rescue work. Bring him on back here. I have some questions for him. He seems like a very useful one. Uh, and my last interesting fact, or at least... What on earth? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that on the mic. Future Pal, if you're editing this and can amplify that. It actually sounds like a... a gun just went off, like, right outside my window. One second, I live in the city. That's kind of terrifying. One moment. Okay, I have no idea what that was, but it was loud enough that it shook my floor, and that that was terrifying. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> the, all of the enemies, and I guess we're going to see this next episode when we talk to Imperfect Cell, but all of the enemies have Latin names, and it's the Latin name of the water wraith that is particularly interesting. It is Amphibio 
sapiens. Very strange. Eerie, even. With different game texts in other games suggesting that this is, in fact, a being anchored in another dimension, some people, myself included, uh, ran with the nuclear weapon theory that, at so in some way, shape, or form, a person was sent to another dimension by the nuclear activity on planet Earth, and so this was actually a human. However, in-game uh, reference text uh, refers to the water wraith as Water Monk. A little bit different. Let's return to the surface. Okay, yeah, I just want to check the treasure gauge. Kishin Asa, two pup drive. How many Pikmin did we lose? Because I didn't... I guess I lost 15, because I came in here with 80? I lost 12. Not bad. Not bad. And none of them were to any one giant mistake. Sometimes I I entered some combats a little bit too, um, too brazenly, but... All in all, no giant mistakes. We lost 66 Pikmin. By far, at least to my knowledge, that is the most amount of Pikmin we've ever lost. As in, that's more Pikmin than we've ever lost in the adventure thus far. We lost it in one cave. Partially due to difficulty, but also due to, I guess, some subconscious paralysis by my part. When I see the Water Wraith, I just don't quite know what to do. Oh, there's a treasure right behind us. Maybe we can grab that. Um, I'm not going to have purples at the moment. Flying doesn't really make any sense. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go tried and true on this. Oh, and there's the countdown. Okay. Oh, that's tiny. I expected that to be much bigger, actually. Can I move my base? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, but I can knock this down. Hold up. Push that down. Shortcut! Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Um, uh, hmm. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Why did I just... I just... I just killed my Pikmin. No! I got him! I got him! Come on! I got him! I did it! <laughs> yeah! I saved them from myself! I think, I hope. The, I saw the counter go down to zero right at the last second. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, let's see, did we do it? No Pikmin lost? How much did we do today? Did we save four captains? I think we might have. Two caves, four captains. A lot of new voices I'm going to have to come up with, or forget, and then day of recording, I'll, I'll have to come up with four. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my word. It's not ending. It's not ending. It's still going. <laughs> Two thousand, almost 3,000 sparklium. I mean, I, that doesn't really mean a whole lot, but... Wave race! That's what it is! Okay. Obscure title. 33 lost, but... 97 gained? That's fine. That's okay. We actually gained more than we lost for every type. And we have purples now. It's weird seeing purples and pinks next to each other. They're polar opposites. 
Ochi is a rare breed of dog. Do you happen to know where he was born? Aww. His ancestors have lived alongside the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what planet they're from originally, though. But these dogs certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talents for life as a rescue pup. Aww. Obviously, I'm talking about their carrying abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have noses made for scent tracking. Combine that with their excellent vision and fluffed, fluffed, sluffy coats, and you got the perfect partner. Plus, they are so adorable. So then, the short answer is... No. I was hoping to get more. They look tasty. <sighs> you know what? I'm in the mood to unwind by playing more Pikmin 3. <laughs> I recorded one day, and I still want more. Two hours, by the way. Two hour recording for one day. And I'm gonna do one more. This game's just too good. <laughs> good night. See you in the morning.